Well, time for our uh, next map, and I can't really do this one with a printy alone. Um, not as much as I'd like. To. As much as I'd like to, it's just not doable. Um, we can do damage from just the printy, but I'm going to have to clear out, you know, most of these chickens with uh, the printy, and then we're going to use the printy as a bomb by chucking it in here. Um, it's going to be exhausting getting into position to do it, though. But yeah, that's that's the plan. We're gonna have to use uh, the Prina as a, a P bomb. It's a plant destroying bomb. <sighs> you know, that's what it is. It's a plant buster. Plus size. If I overthrow Edna, it doesn't matter. Um, because Prina bombs uh, deaths don't count as ally kills in this game. So yeah, f feel free to go wild and kill as many people as you want with a printy bomb. It does not count against you. It's sort of like if a character dies by like Geo effect or something, as far as the game is concerned. You know, if there was a way to navigate around here, I I would do it. But these holes literally make it impossible. And it's obvious they didn't intend on you mostly relying on printy to beat this game because. This fight is not designed with you, you know, using a printing in mind. I mean, why would it be? Who would be crazy enough to try and beat the game using just a printing? Thankfully, we only have to use this one printing as the bomb, though. Because of how they blow up, it'll easily get both those two printing, both those two, uh, cock traces in the back. I just have to make sure I clear out every other enemy. So yeah, this map might end up, you know, looking fast at first, and it's going to get slowed down like a ton. And I will literally need, you know, every single one of those throwers and some additional characters on hand to pull this off. Like, I need nine people to throw the printing into position. It's disgustingly time-consuming. Pretty dude! Darn, I should have hit end turn there. Well, it's whatever. For now, let's move you over. <coughs> Gosh darn it. <sighs> Consume tight, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I'm moving infantry and advance wars right now. And the next map's not really any better. Because it's got its own whole trick with Death Blow. Like, the only safe spot we can sit in is going to be right around our base. Ugh. Why they got to make this stuff so difficult? I don't know. Well, let's just keep moving them in. And how we set them up is going to determine where we want to put the printing at. But it's got to be at the back of the chain for obvious reasons. After all, I got to make sure I'm as close to that one hole as possible. To make this work. So. Move them up. <sighs> oh, I got time to move the pretty back, to be honest. Ah. Never mind, can't. Well, well, I know I could do a fancy chain over here, but I really don't feel like it. Well, yeah, move you here. Then move you over. Well, 
this wouldn't be as bad, I guess, if you could just uh, throw a prey off to worry about exploding. I also love how even when you become a pretty god, you still blow up when thrown. Okay. Come on. Okay. Some of those throws were better than anticipated. I won't lie. Well, I could actually have made here at eight throws. Go figure. Okay. And then throw you over there, and I'll kill everything within two squares. Boom. There we go. With damage only from a printy, we won. Sure, we had to blow up the printy, you know, to get some of those kills, but it's fine. I say it's in the rules of the contest. We did use a printy to take them out, after all. But yeah, this next map does make things much better. Okay. Because that introduces Death Blow. Yay. Ugh. The Preys really chose some nasty maps. Now, thankfully, we're immune if we stay here, but we still have to try and take everything else out. And they can try and go in for status effects and stuff. Okay, we can drop a fireball over here to take out potentially four. Ready, dude. Well, 75% I'll take it. With those accuracy rates, I'll take anything. Well, try and take you out. And we're paralyzed. That's fine. Oh, there's two over there. I should have tried swinging for them instead. As long as I don't get poisoned. Really need to inst stall the curing spell for having this on this character at some point. Just so I have uh, better options. Oh, well, we got the hit that time. Well. Another one bites the dust. And yeah, they can still potentially nick us, so I don't want to just move out there and try and dodge everything. Because it feels like a coin flip. A coin flip where you die if you fail. It's worse than Russian roulette, man. At least there, you're, it's 1 6. Like rolling out a one side die. Probably not the most comforting of options either. But okay, we can at least cheese this map. And we got over our gun for our troubles. Okay, skip the story. What's this one? You got the, the fusion on it? Yeah. Okay. Just take out as many as I can. Okay, they fuse together. Not much I can do about that, though. Okay, your regular level. Your regular level. Though, immediately I can just 
take out three of them like that. Uh, do a prey dance, huh? Well, let's just finish you off. Ready, dude. Well, can't fuse with anything else. There's nothing else left, man. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to move up. Ready, dude. Which means losing our buff. Dude. Well, that worked out. Damn ninjas and their tri tricky maps, I swear. Of course, this one shouldn't be that bad. Fire. Uh oh. He's got an axe. Dude, who'd want an axe in a stage like this? Well. Let's just kill the boss, I guess. You guys want to come at me? Like, your, your leader's already gone. And why are samurai falling around a ninja anyway? The shame. Well, Ready, eat my firepower. Well, we might get, you know, a boost of one item. Dude. Screw it, I'm getting close. Let him fight me. Okay. Can I, like, hit one of these symbols? Okay. Yeah, I gotta set the fast speed. I don't have enough patience for this. Okay. Didn't clear it, but, you know, let me get more items, at least. I know, there's no point for the obsession. Not even any nifty items to grab here, anyway. Ready, dude. Well, I'll take care of that. <coughs> yep, skip it. Then we gotta learn about the freaking tower. No, don't save. Yeah, I don't care about the drama. I don't need it. It's in service to a character I don't care that much about to begin with. Like, Fubuki's my least favorite character in the entire game. Okay, there's a chest here. An iron punch, huh? Guess I grabbed that item. Come on, where's the last chest at? Um, let's see. Did I, like, miss it at some point? Where? Oh, there it is on top of that house. Oh, man, I have to jump onto the... This. Come on. Did it, sweet. Don't you dare fall off now. A mystic horn. Was it worth it? No. 
but, you know, we got it, so there's that. Well, next time I guess we'll be going to the tower, which may have its own nightmares for us. Ugh. How much more will we have to bend the rules, I guess? Until next time, then. See ya.